The Kansas City Chiefs selected wideout Xavier Worthy with the 28th overall pick in the draft, and he has the potential to be the next Deshaun Jackson. And you have a dynamic playmaker with uh, top end vertical speed, smart, and you, know, you can move him around, do different things with him. How's it going today? My name is Jesse McNamer, and welcome to Point of View. Before we get into it today, I just want to say we always appreciate your feedback and look forward to reading your comments like the one we've got here. Also, be sure to stay tuned to the end of this episode to see if you can guess today's trivia question down below. To today's topic, is Xavier Worthy being typecasted as just a speedy route runner? After he set an NFL Combine record 40-yard dash time of 4.21 seconds, everyone jumped to the obvious comparison of former Chiefs receiver Tyree Kill. Of course, Hill is much more than just speedy, but Worthy has been boxed as a straight runner and that's just not the case. Deshaun Jackson was thought of in a similar light when he was drafted, but we can all agree he was a whole lot more than that. Worthy spent three years with the Texas Longhorns and had 60 or more receptions in each season with 26 total touchdowns. He also was second in the FBS in 2023 with 16.9 yards per punt return. He was a key piece to the Longhorns air game and made big play after big play. Here he is against a third-ranked Alabama Crimson Tide in a tie game. He shows off his speed and gains quick separation over 40 yards down the field for the score. That's just one of the many plays he made with his speed, but he used his other skills to become a first-round pick. Here he is turning a screen pass that looked to go for 5 yards into a nearly 15-yard play. He's got professional-level vision and shiftiness to make plays on his own. And that type of skill set can translate to the NFL pretty quickly as it did with Deshaun Jackson on the Philadelphia Eagles. Jackson ran a 4-3-5 40-yard dash at the NFL Combine and nearly re reached 1,000 yards receiving in his rookie season. He also led the league in punt returns and scored a touchdown off a of punt that season. It definitely helped d Jacks to be drafted by the Eagles, as they had Andy Reid as the head coach. He knew how to maximize his value, and I expect the exact same thing to happen with Worthy and Andy Reid on the Chiefs. Reid has already drawn comparisons between the two, and Worthy is embracing his play style. Here's what he had to say when asked what he's taken away from watching d Jacks film. This is punt return and his ability to make a play after the catch, and how how he understood the leverage for deep routes. So I feel like he had really good leverage. He, I think he has a record for most, longest touchdowns. So. Uh, just his ability to understand and leverage on deep routes. I know there's a lot of things Worthy can take away from watching Jackson's old film that I and other NFL fans won't understand, but it's pretty obvious with the naked eye that it's a great blueprint for a long career. We could show endless highlights of Jackson catching a deep ball beyond the defense, but here's a display of his speed from the line of scrimmage. He takes the handoff on the end around, and the defense doesn't know how to take the right angle for his speed. It just took one solid block downfield to beat the entire defense. I'd imagine we see a lot of this from Worthy with the Chiefs and it could start in week one. Kansas City won the Super Bowl last season despite a lesser receiving core than they had gotten used to, but they clearly felt the receiving room was lacking as evidenced by their first round selection. 2022 was the first season the Chiefs played without Tyreek Hill, and they had no problem, ranking first in the league in offensive yards and points. But last season, they fell to ninth in yards and 15th in points. Again, they won their second consecutive Super Bowl, but the offense wasn't what it has been, and it's smart to address it before it's too late. The wide receiver room is already filled with speedsters like Hollywood Brown and McCole Hardman, but those guys aren't getting any younger and finding a player like Worthy to learn from veterans while he adapts to the league is the best move for keeping a high-flying offense around Patrick Mahomes, who isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So the NFL should take this as a warning. Xavier Worthy is going to be a stud in year one, and Reed can turn him into the modern version of Deshaun Jackson, just with a better overall offense. But let's be honest with each other. No matter who the Chiefs picked in the draft, we are all expecting Kansas City to be back in the Super Bowl next season. If you want to know how they can complete the three-peat, check out this past episode of Point of View. In the moment you've been waiting for, here's the answer to today's trivia question. We appreciate you tuning in to this episode of Point of View, and we will see you in the next one.